Hello Flutes and welcome to our first guided music practice session. Hopefully you all remember that my name is Miss Ryan and today we are going to be reviewing our A flat major scale skill and playing that key signature in our song exercise 51. Then we are going to be practicing our chromatic notes down in a song as well in Havanera and then we will be reviewing our high D fingering, which we've learned before, and playing that in smooth as silk. You will be successful today when you can correctly identify and play the high D, when you can identify and correctly play which fingering we need to do for the chromatic scale down, and identify which D and which A you need to play in exercise 51, go for excellence. Let's get started. Everyone start with exercise 51. How many flats are in the key signature? Hopefully you said that there are four. Now name the four flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. If they were your four, then great job. So everyone play B flat. Now E flat. Now A flat and D flat. Remember that D flat is the same as C sharp, which is just your pinky. Remember A flat is the same as G with your other pinky. So play A flat again and D flat again. Now look at exercise 51. Say the notes in the first bar. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. Repeat that until your fingers feel really comfortable doing those notes in order. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. Pause and repeat as much as you need to. Now we're going to do the next bar. Say the notes. A flat, C, E flat. Say it again on your own. Pause and practice that as much as you need to. Now let's go back to the first bar and join those two bars together. So, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, A flat, C, E flat. Now let's do it again. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, A flat, C, E flat. Repeat that as much as you need to until your fingers are really comfortable. Pause and repeat as necessary. I'm going to play it now. Now play it with me. Now it's your turn. Pause and repeat until you feel comfortable playing that smoothly. Now look at the next two bars. Say the notes and do the fingers. B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. B flat, D flat, F. And again. B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F. B flat, D flat, F. Can you see a pattern? Hopefully you can see that these two bars are up one step from the first two bars. Now pause and practice the fingerings and saying the notes until your fingers are doing exactly what your brain tells you to do. Now play it with me. Pause, rewind, practice that as much as you need to to make it feel easy. On to the next sequence. That's the next two bars, bar five and six. Say the notes and do the fingers. C, E flat, sorry, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, C, E flat, G, and again. C, D flat, E flat, F, G, C, E flat, G, and now do it together. Pause 
videos, rewind, and do it again until you feel comfortable. Now see if you can figure out the last two bars on your own. Pause me here. Now let's play it together. Hopefully you remembered that last A flat at the end. Let's do the last two bars again. Now that we've played every single bar in the piece, pause it here and see if you can add everything together. Now let's play the whole thing nice and slowly with smart music. Now I'm going to let smart music go one more time without me playing and you're going to try it on your own. How did you feel about playing those four flats smoothly? Did you succeed at playing your A flats and D flats where you identified them? Check one more time by playing it the whole way through without me. Make sure that you play all A flats and D flats. Now let's go to exercise 53. At the end of last term, we looked at our chromatic pattern. In this piece, see if, you, see if you can identify where the chromatic pattern is. Now go from the beginning and say the notes. C, B natural, B flat, B flat, B flat, A, A flat, G, G sharp, F, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, D. Go again from the beginning. C, B natural, B flat, B flat, B flat, A natural, A flat, G, F sharp, F, E flat, D, E flat, F, E flat, D. Where is the chromatic pattern? Hopefully you said the chromatic pattern goes all the way until the E flat. So C, B natural, B flat, A, A flat, G, F sharp, F. And that's the end of the chromatic pattern. Let's do that one more time. C, B natural, B flat, A, A flat, G, F sharp, F. Just play those notes on their own. C, B natural, B flat, a, A flat, G, F sharp, F, and then E flat. Now go from the beginning and say the notes and fingers without me. Pause it here. Now let's check what you just practiced by playing it with me nice and slowly.
And let's do that again, but a little bit faster this time. If you need some extra practice, just pause and practice it on your own. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like just to check. So we have C, B natural, B flat, B flat, B flat, A, A flat, G, F sharp, F, E flat, D, E flat, F, D, E flat, D. Now pause it here and see if you can practice the whole second half without me. Was there any difference in the second line to the first line? Check one more time. I can see a very small difference and it's only in this last four bars. Notice how the first four bars in the second line are exactly the same as the first four bars in the first line. So play that with me now. on your own and now let's look at the second half of that line the last four bars say the notes into the fingers f e flat d g f e flat d c and that should be really easy because it's just notes that we're used to playing so let's do that again f e flat d g f e flat d c and play that together Now let's see if we can play the whole second line all together. How did you go with your chromatic pattern? Pause and repeat as much as you need to. Now we are going to play it from the beginning with smart music. Remember to say the notes in your head so that you don't get them wrong. Now pause it and practice it once more on your own. The next exercise that we're going to do is exercise 54 smooth as silk. Exercise 54 we have our high note D. Now we've played this in band before but here we are making sure that we're using the correct fingering for our high D's. High D fingering is like our normal D but we lift up those two fingers and we put down our pinky. So normal D and we swap our right hand. Play a normal D and then play a high D. And again, normal D and high D. Now see if you can do the fingers and say the notes for the first bar. B flat, C, high D, and again, B flat, C, high D. Your turn. Pause and practice that at least three times so your fingers are doing exactly what your brain tells them to do. Now let's look at the next bar. Say the notes and do the fingers. B flat, dot, C, F, and again. 
B flat dot C F and now play it. Now see if you can play the first two bars joined together without me. Press pause. Now let's play it together. First two bars. Good, hopefully that wasn't too hard. Now play the next two bars on your own. Press pause. Now let's play them together. Now let's say the notes and the fingers for the last line. D to C, B flat, A dot G, F. B flat dot C, D, C, B flat. Rest. Now see if you can play it on your own. Press pause now. Now let's play it together. How did you go with your high D? Was it easy enough to play? If not, press pause and play that high D as many times as you can to make it feel easy. Now let's play it one more time with smart music. that as many times as you need to until you feel confident. Now let's review. How did you go playing your A flat major key signature in the first song? Did you play all the correct A flats and D flats? How about in Habanera? Did we play our chromatic passages smoothly and easily with our brain telling our fingers what to do? And did we play smooth as silk, smoothly, with our fingers going down exactly when we wanted them to as well. Hopefully the answer to all those questions is yes. Let me know if this was too fast, too slow, or if you needed me to go through anything else. Keep up the good work, happy practicing, and make sure you send me some smart music assignments.